Hi guys, it's Teresa of Larkin Design. And so I'm continuing today with my gardener's notebook, um, also known as a traveler's notebook that I'm using to document my adventures in my yard and in my flower beds. And so um, if you were with me here on Tuesday, then you saw me begin this this um, traveler's notebook that I'm using to document my um, garden. And so I'm just continuing today with a second entry into this notebook. And I'm working with my um, May 2016 Gossamer Blue kits, namely the scrapbooking kit and the Life Pages kit. And so I am... Um, using some of the tags that come with the flowers when you purchase them from your nursery and inserting those in the book as an insert using washi tape. And um, so you can see me here just trying to line it up and get it put into place in the notebook. Okay. And so I've chosen some um, patterned paper, the striped paper from My Mind's Eye, Hello Gorgeous. That's on the left-hand side of this layout. And then this is my photo that I plan to use on the right-hand side. And so this is sort of my formula, patterned paper on the left-hand side with embellishments, um, the flower tag in the center as an insert, and then the photo and embellishments on the right hand side on top of gelatos. Um, so I've just added a couple of colors here and then I'm blending those in a little bit. And then I will dry them real quick. There we go. Okay, so we have we have one tree in our front yard um, that we planted, and around that tree, I placed, I planted some um, flocks that year. Um, so I'm just documenting those here, and I'm gonna add um, a couple of the embellishments from the. Um, these are from the Simple Stories. Okay, and I, I chose the Dream Big with the cloud <laughs> on purpose um, because these flowers did not make it. Um, so... And I'm, I'm new at this gardening thing. Like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I don't know what flowers should go where or whatever. Um, so this is all kind of new to me and trying to figure out what works where. Um, and so that's part of why I wanted to make this notebook was just so that I knew, you know, what flowers I had tried and what had worked and what hadn't worked. Um, so these are some of the ones that did not work. <laughs> so I'm going to just um, use some of these um, word strips from the stamp set. And these were definitely one, ones to remember. I stamped one for the books, right? So this is <laughs> to remember not to try these next time. I really love I really love how these word strips look layered on top of the gelatos. Um, that's one of the things that led me to stamp them around the page a little bit more than just one time um, because I really like the type on top of the color. And then I'm going to do this um, washi strip on the side again, just like I had done on the previous layout. 
And that, again, that becomes a home for some embellishments. Okay, moving on to the next one. I'm just going to do two, two layouts for you today. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out what I want to use on this side. I don't end up doing it this way. Um, in fact, this is one of those moments where I don't remember this part in my process. <laughs> I don't remember p cutting that lined paper. So, but I know that I want to use one of the the three by four journaling cards. Um, that is one of my goals, and so I like this little ledger card. Man, I love that that little ledger card. Um, I wish there were more and more of those. So, and I decide to contrast it against the floral instead of that lined paper. And it ended up, I ended up cutting it just a little bit bigger than the, the page itself. And I decide that I'm okay with that because it actually um, shows the stripe on the, on the layout behind it, which has that stripe anyway there. So you can see it sort of hanging over right there. And I decide that I kind of actually like that. So one of the reasons why I'm using this patterned paper on the left-hand side is because those gelatos buckle the pages a little bit, so it just makes them a little bit more stable. And um, this journaling card had a little tab or a little um, label on it, so I decided to use that as a home for some other embellishments. And I'm just going to... Um, glue this little wooden heart down. I seriously could have used about 50 more of those little wooden hearts. They are adorable. Um, I'm going to stamp just a little bit on this side. And I'm, I'm thinking a little bit about what I want to write on this page. Um, but I also want to, to get the embellishments down. And then there's a little bit of serendipity there where that heart accidentally stamped on the page and I didn't intend for it to. So I just made little stamped groupings of those hearts. Call that serendipity. I don't know. Um, so I figured out that what I was going to document on this layout is my gardenia that we planted and um, so this one has some some um, significance to me some emotional significance here um, that I always wanted to have a gardenia I love the way they smell and I always wanted one by the front door because I wanted to be able to smell it when you walk in the front door and um, they also have some significance to me from growing up. My mom always had a gardenia, and um, so I wanted to journal a little about that. And what I wrote is, ever since I was a girl growing up in Antigua, I have wanted a gardenia. Mom had one, and gosh, it always smelled so good. I'm so excited to have my own. So, um, you know, this is a cool thing about gardening is that sometimes it does remind us of people and places that we love. So um, this becomes kind of an important layout here. And I'm just going to add, I love this little pink bird from Hello, the Hello Gorgeous collection. Um, she's adorable. So she belongs up there with a little banner. And then I'm going to call that side done and move over to the next side. And um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of color using my gelatos and some water again. 
And my goal with deciding where to put the gelatos is just like where around the photo do I want it to to show and to provide sort of a home for some of these embellishments and for some of the stamp sentiments. So there we go. There's my photo of our little gardenia. And I'm going to use this, this little banner here from Pink Paisley. And a little circle embellishment. And you'll see me add a couple of other things to this page to finish embellishing it. Although it could be complete just as it is. Um, but here's my word stamps that I love. I did absolutely just love using these on the, the, the color. The, on top of, layered on top of the gelatos. It's really cool. Um, and then I'm also, um, going to add something to the top. More of the hearts. Gosh, I love those little tiny hearts. <laughs> I could use those all day long. One more little one there. There's the wooden heart that I'm going to repeat. This is the larger one. There was a tiny one and then a larger one included. And that just about wraps up this layout. So I really um, thank you for watching and for following along. Be sure to leave me a like and a comment and subscribe so that you can get all the latest videos from my channel and then I will be back on Monday with an art journaling layout for you thanks so much for watching you guys bye bye